adjourn in the uh, public hearing now. Uh, records show that we had it. Now I'm calling the meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court order on August 23rd at 4 p.m. 5 p.m. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to ask Larry Morphew to lead us in the prayer and pledge the flag. Lord, we come to you tonight thanking you, God, for your many blessings. Lord, we just ask you as we come before you tonight that you would give us the courage and the wisdom to do everything pleasing to you and everything in order. And Lord, we just ask that you be with everyone that's sick and get them back to their health and just lead us and guide us and give us strength. In Christ's name we ask. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before you, you have the uh, August 10th uh, meeting and the August 13th special call meeting uh, minutes. Uh, we need a motion to approve both of those. So moved. Motion by Sam Small. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Is there any discussion, corrections, or additions? Discussion, corrections, or additions? Uh, being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Minutes are approved. Before you, you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers. And late business. And late business. Make the motion to accept. The motion was by uh, uh, Larry Cannon, second by Dick and Bullock, uh, to, to approve the uh, bills, claims, payments, and transfers. Is there any discussion on the bill? Any discussion on bills, claims, payments, or transfers? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Hold the like sign. The bills are paid. I just got one question, Ann. This uh, coil for the air conditioner, $4,100? Um, yeah. What is it? The price of it? I mean, it said coils. I don't know what else. Let me see who that was charged to. I can't remember. What page did you see that on? Late list. Late list. That's at the jail. That's a condenser and coils. I don't know what those are, but I guess it's pretty pricey. <coughs> well, the condenser ain't much to it. I don't know about the coils. I would assume, I don't know, that it's a larger than normal unit. Yeah, it's the first I knew of it. They, they called in to make some sales. Probably getting old, too, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the next thing I uh, want to do, I think we've decided to uh, uh, table the uh, next three items, which are the library and uh, the health district and the conservation district's tax rates. Till we get more information, we'll take that up at our next meeting, uh, early in that meeting, so we can get it to Jason. Uh, I think he'll be okay with getting to the end. But, but we have uh, uh, Jason, uh, uh, I want you to go ahead and make a proposal on the county tax rates, which is item 8, 9, and 10 on your agenda. Okay, so we're going to do one at a time. So at yes. this time, I'm going to make a motion that we uh, the real estate uh, property tax. Uh, it's going to remain the same as last year, 7.6. So moved. Second. Motion by uh, Larry Cam, second by Sam Small. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, black like sign. That motion carries. All right, we're going to make a motion that we, uh, the tangible rates for uh, this year, 21 is uh, we're going to keep it the same at 7.92. Second. Motion by Jason, second by Sam. Uh, is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. 
And the last one, uh, I make a motion that the uh, 21 rate for Ohio County uh, motor vehicle and water property tax rates remains the same at 6.3. Second. Motion to Jason, second to Joe. Uh, any discussion? If there's no discussion, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Okay. Uh, next, you have we have a second reading on Ordinance 2022 2. It's not listed that way on your uh, agenda, but uh, uh, that's that's the one you passed the last time for the uh, uh, what Justin presented on okay. the library bond. Okay, so uh, it's hospital, a hospital bonds. bonds. Hospital bonds. What did I say? Library. I got that on my mind there. <laughs> I'm sorry, hospital bonds. Motion by Larry Cam. Second. Second by Sam Small. Uh, and this is an ordinance, and we'll need to do a roll call. Sam Small. Yes. Jason Bullock. Yes. Joe Barnes. Yes. Larry Cam. Yes. Larry Morphew. Yes. David Johnston. Yes. Thank you. And Justin, do you need to talk about anything else on that? Well, when we get to the end of the meeting, what we'll probably do is uh, also meet as the Public Facilities Corporation. And uh, you guys are just members of that, as well as the support. We just have to pass a resolution, agree to accept the lease on the turn. And so we'll do we'll do that whenever you want to. We could do it now, really, since the order is passed. We could do it later, whichever you prefer. Let's go ahead while we're here. So I'd ask, the, uh, uh, ask that we maybe adjourn the county meeting for just a minute. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're recessing it, yeah. And we meet uh, as, uh, as Ohio County Public Service Corp uh, Public Facilities Corporation uh, with the purpose of the meeting. Uh, I guess uh, if, the, if the court is comfortable but here in the corporation with the judge acting as the chairperson and, and we'll just make Larry count as the secretary purpose of execution of the documents um, we need you to first pass a resolution that would permit the public service Corpor corporation I keep saying service public facilities corporation uh, a resolution uh, it's going to be uh, resolving it to, to start the bond process and for the public public facilities corporation to do whatever is necessary you need an informal motion mm -hmm. so move so, and then we'll just say all in favor say aye. 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 The next, uh, it would be a, and that would also include for all these documents for the uh, judge to sign and then also Larry Kemp to sign as the uh, secretary. You get that many things. Mm -hmm. I'll thrust our signatures. I'll make that motion. All right. And well, then all in favor of that? Uh, we we got second. second. Okay. Second. Second. Everybody second it, Ann, so pick one. Okay. <laughs> And all in favor of that? Aye. 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 Uh, uh, next, the lease agreement that would be between the Ohio County Public Facilities Corporation and Ohio County Hospital. Uh, within this lease agreement, reviewed it, it does say that the hospital will be responsible for, for all payments with relation to these bonds and identify and hold harmless, in a sense, the, uh, uh, the facilities corporation and, and the county for many payment. So I'd ask, I think we still have a few small modifications just to put some dates in, but I'd ask that the judge be permitted to sign with Larry Count acting as the secretary. Uh, this <coughs> agreement uh, as proposed or as amended, to, uh, as amended but approved, I mean. Thank you. Second. All right, if we could have it all in favor. Aye. All right. All right. And then finally, the last one is the indenture that the Ohio County Public Facilities Corporation along with Ohio County Hospital and U.S. National Bank and the Hopier Financial LCA, that indenture for the Public Facilities Corporation to enter into that. If I could get a, a motion for uh, the judge to so sign moved. that, along with the county sign secretary. So you get the first and second, Ann? You're going to write these after all, right? I can. As long as you get the first and second, then <laughs> I can write I'll second. I'll second. Okay, Jason said. Yeah. Who first? Larry. Uh, Morphe. All in favor on that, say aye. It's just a formality uh, we have to do. Now, the last one we did, did, did that authorize the judge to sign with a lease agreement? The first one was the uh, resolution. Uh-huh. Uh, 
the second one was the lease agreement, and the third one was the indenture. What we need, they may come back to us for okay. one last thing or two, but that's what that's the big goals we need. Okay, the recess of fiscal the, the public facilities uh, <laughs> corporation uh, uh, board is uh, adjourned, and the uh, recess on fiscal court is uh, we're back in uh, May. Uh, we have advertised for some bids. Uh, let's go ahead and open those at this time. And would uh, one of you write down if Joe reads them out? Okay, Joe, you want to read them down? Yes. Okay, you'll write them down, Steve. So we're doing a truck. Uh, Somebody else want to help? Back on. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do the trucks first. Hey, you help open Larry okay, right, Jason. Okay. You have both of Jason, uh, Larry Cam's right and thing. You mean it's that folks, it's always the truck. Uh, that's what I'm seeing. You doing first the truck? Yeah, truck first. There's two come in for the trucks from what you understand right in. Give me the name of the <coughs> company. Name of the dealer. Okay, so this is more Ford. Okay. In Hartford. So we got a 2022 Ram 2500 truck, diesel. Um, it's got all these details on it, but it's $44,500. That's the diesel. That's the diesel. Did we get one for more Ford for gas? Yeah, I'm getting ready to read it. So then I got a, uh, a uh, bid for 2022 Ram 2500 truck, 6.4 gas engine. It's thirty-five thousand seven hundred thirty-seven. Not near as much as I would thought. Next bid is the Evans. Oh, wait a minute, I'm still. He's got one more. Yeah. So now I got a uh, 2022 F250 Ford um, Super Duty. 6.2 gas of forty-four thousand five hundred. And then I got a. 2022 F-250 Ford Super Duty with the uh, diesel, and it's $52,800. And that's all the ones from Moore. That pretty emblem on the front of Ford's cost money. Diesel does too. Diesel so, cost a lot too. Yeah. The next ones are from BF Evans Ford. <coughs> 2022 Ford F-250 Crew Cab Diesel. Uh, the price before 830 is 51,182.40. The price after 830 is 54,227.40. This has the 6.72 liter diesel it said. What was the price, 51,182.40? Yeah, 40 and 40 cents. That's the diesel. And then we have one here for 2022 Ford F-250 crew cab gas. Uh, before 830, dollars cents. After 830, it's $46,049.52. It has a 732, or 7.3 no, liter. Sorry. Uh, now, on this time, the only thing I would recommend before we act is uh, we make sure that they this truck meets the, uh, you know, like what we talked about on the snow plow package. And oh, the cooler, <laughs> cooler the transmission? Yeah, I know that that's what was supposed to be in their bid, but I'd like to confirm it before since we're not in a crucial uh, time period as far as uh, <coughs> You will uh, move the table. I'll move the table. I'll second. Uh, any discussion? Being no, all the folks say aye. Aye. Uh, the motion uh, carries. Uh, the, the motion's to uh, table. You want to be as close side the next meeting. Yeah. 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 So now we
we have uh, the, 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 uh, tilt rotor for the trico. And I believe just one came in for that. Just going to tilt. Well, they, they put tilt rotor. Uh, I, I think Nick's referred to it as a rotor, rotor tilt. This is from Boyd Cat. Boyd. Boyd. Yeah, B O Y D. B O Y D. Boyd Cat. Yep. Of uh, thirty-three thousand three hundred dollars. And that's the only bid. That's the only bid. What do you want to move to accept it? Yeah. I move to accept. Sorry, And it was uh, Joe Barnes made the motion to accept that bid and second by. Thirty three thousand three hundred. Yeah. yeah. Thirty three thousand and that's to be paid with our but right. It's the yeah, it's on bar line number one. I think that's need that. Right. Yeah. And you want to write the check, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. No further discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Hold the black sign. We owe a we now own a road hoe, whatever it is. Rotator attachment. Yeah. All right, now the uh, next one's for the uh, tobacco. And I've got one from. You were supposed to ride by the bus. Boy Cat. Oh, this is the on second. This is still full on now. Yeah, we're on backup. How many bids did we get on the back of two? Two. Two, two different companies here. <laughs> this one is for a 440 back of loader. 440. All the specs here, four pages. Uh, it's got after tax balance now. We're going to pay self price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Balance due. Oh, they're all the same. I'm sorry. Self price $131,395. That ain't bad to see it real quick here. <laughs> Is this still the void cap on the 540? Uh, the 440. Uh, 440 void cap, yeah. 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 Does it have another cap? That's the only big. That's the only one I'm seeing in here. Okay. Is there another envelope There's on another the back? Envelope. I have John Deere bid. Okay. This is um, ERB equipment? Or, yeah. They're in on the store. Okay, ERB equipment, John Deere. It's a 2021 John Deere 3, uh, 310 SL backhoe loader. Price is $101,810. Very close to the same price, wasn't it, Mary? No, no, no. That's 30,000. No, wasn't there? I, I, mean, yeah. but that, I think that is a bigger, yeah. if you look at 30,000. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a lot of different. Yeah. So, I just want to go ahead and make sure that, that I'd like to, with these higher dollar, uh, dollar items, table them and confirm that they did meet the specs because there's four pages of specs on mine that I'm sure. Yeah, pages. And we just we do want to make sure we didn't mess up when we're looking at something that's hundred thousand dollars. Right. And there are large to the price. Did huh? you move the right. table? Yes. I move the table. I'll second. Motion uh, by. Uh, Joe, second the Jason, to second to table it uh, till the next meeting. Uh, any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Come up here and look in this form bit and make sure I didn't miss something, but I thought we were getting two. That two. That's all the bits. All the bits.
make sure I get someone else to check it before we walk away from this. Um, Justin's still here? He's already on the phone. Okay. I don't know. I don't really think we're going to need, I don't really know of any reason we actually need to go into both sessions. Uh, do you, uh, you don't have anything? To I don't, I don't have anything. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you all, I'm going to get a attention, I'll tell you what we're going to talk about a little bit. Uh, what we're going to talk about in closed session, but there's really no need to do it that way, I don't think, is the landfill people have asked us to go ahead and bid now for the uh, for the services for the landfill when it wasn't due for a few years. How many years? You got about seven more years. About seven more years. But he wants to bid it now for another uh, 20 years so that they can, uh, it, ha it affects the contract they're trying to get, which will be more money for us if they get the contract. Yeah, we're just gonna, once we receive some kind of confirmation from them by email or possibly in writing that uh, uh, they would request. We haven't got an official request yet. But we well, didn't put the, the contract out for anybody, though. Well, we, we, in order for us to, in order for us to even accept, accept this, we would have to get a release on yeah. that. So I understand what they're saying, but then we also, we, we would have the ability to, even though we put it out for bid, to maintain our seven years, because if they raise it, then we would be losing money for the next seven years. That, that would have to be yeah before we. I can understand. Off. I can understand that they need it so they have a contract with a, their customer saying they've got somewhere to take it for but, however many years. But we would need to look at all that. So would there be a problem that we can always reject the bid and continue on with our contract right? Now? Well, I think that I, I would prefer that we discuss that in closed session based on uh, my thoughts as to how we would deal with their request. If, and we could do that in closed session because there's some things litigation wise that we've also. But we don't have enough facts to. We, we don't have anything yet. We don't have of course, we're still waiting for an official. official. Yeah. So we don't need to talk in closed session about that right now. No, we I, I guess if we don't have anything official from right. them, uh, there's some things for the court to consider litigation wise that I would want to say. Right. Okay. Yeah, I would just uh, want y'all to know about it because we're meeting with them. And talking and everything, so we'll keep y'all updated. So they're talking about maybe a possible big supplier of uh, garbage, garbage, trash. Uh, uh, and and to do that, like I said, they they can't. The, the people they're bidding with, they have to give them a, a 25 year guarantee that they'll take it for that long, yeah. and they've got a place for it for that long. Yeah. They've got to look at expanding too. Well, that's why you understood it, Justin. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. Regional jail authority, yeah. Authority. Yeah. Regional authority. Well, uh, I, I had to use some paperwork to pass out. I want to do one other thing, and then I want to let you make a committee report on that, Larry. And I'm sorry, but my Randa leaving like she did, she had the... Personnel things, hirings here, and then we'll uh, then we'll uh, come back there and you make your report. 
And when you're while you're talking, I'll run him sit like find him. Like okay. Yeah, I had asked that all the court members to be heard. Yeah. Well, it would have been if it had been grand or something. Yeah, yeah, I understand. But we still won't give an update. But right now, I want to put up for hire. And this will be a roll call vote. And okay. for Thomas Merritt, is animal control officer. Beginners salary of seven hundred and fifty dollars per week, beginning seven twenty nine twenty one. Uh, and of course, after his certification, it can go up to eight hundred after, after he brings all his paperwork and he becomes trained. Uh, I'll second. Or do you don't have to? You don't have to have a second, but uh, Thomas now is this another position that we're creating? No, it's we lost our family. 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 Okay, I was, I was unaware of that. I'm yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was unaware. Has, it, has he been doing this job? No. Uh, while we're backdating it to 729? Well, 729 is Sunday. It's supposed to be 829. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. It is 829. I'm sorry. Thanks for, for catching that, Sam. Thanks for catching that. So, uh, I guess we need a roll call. Sam Small. Yes. Jason Bullock. Yes. Joe Barnes. Yes. Mary Cam. Yes. Larry Morphew. Yes. Okay. And Judge. Yes. Then the next one I have, um, we had a person leave several weeks ago, and we're just now going to fill this part time position. Uh, it'll be cleaning the courthouse. The name is Haley. Renfro, uh, 916 an hour, beginning on 829 as well. Uh, this is a part-time uh, part job. So, we'll call that. Sam Small. Yes. Jason Bullock. Yes. Joe Barnes. Yes. Larry Cam. Yes. Larry Morphew. Judge. Okay. Yes. Uh, Oh yeah, uh, this uh, we're not going to do anything on the court and fur deal. We're going to committee reports. You start talking, Larry, on the jail report. I'm going to go sit back and the paper. Yeah, I'll, let me ask on the court and fur because you know she said she we voted on that. Yes, about two meetings ago or so. Do you guys remember that? The extension we just had a little bit of extensions like yeah. five or six hundred feet. Yeah. Okay, well I, I thought that's what I told her. She. And I got the measurement for her. Yeah, it was all the paperwork in order. We're just extending it, well, existing road. I told her, I guess, how much it was. We just extended it, and I guess, I said it's about 600 feet. Yeah. It was 1.3 tenths of a mile. Yeah, yeah one point. So that's about six or 700 feet. Jason, sure. is this going to take in some houses? Or, because if that, anytime we do an extension, if it takes in houses, we've got to change it to 911 system, too. There are, houses? there is, I know there's a trailer, a house, and then there's a building. I don't know if somebody's listening to it too. And how much you say we're extending it to? Uh, just a little over 10, uh, one, uh, point one three, I guess, is what it would be. Okay. That's Horton Spur. Is this a motion? Do you need? No, I was just saying, okay. he, he wanted, we already, we already voted on that. Uh, he just did it before. Yeah. Miranda said she couldn't figure to find it in order to make that. So we voted. I just went up there and got the correct yeah, message for the uh, roll form or not. Five more copies of this. <laughs> I didn't want to just Actually, guess them, but I wanted to be exact. Yeah. Thank you. Make exact. copies of that. Thank you. So I, I text her. She's going to put me to the face. Okay. okay. I'm uh, I've got one, David. Then they'll have their, Jason, I thought you might need to bring it to Justin, you got one too. I do remember she said she couldn't find it. Do you just want to make a motion and pass it again just to be sure? Yeah, I don't mind. Uh, okay. we, uh, here it is right here. I, we went out and measured it the other day. I'll just make a motion that we go ahead and extend the extension. Uh, it is 0. 0.135 miles. Let's sure. sure. go 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 grab a row. I'll just put that up in the form of a motion. Everybody has signed the paperwork. Do have a second? I'll second. second it, and that's to know that you're just extending it for yes. one time, 1.3 times. Yeah. 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 We're not doing it twice. Not twice. Yeah. Any discussion? Yep. Yeah. I got it. On the discussion part, anytime we extend the road, no matter where it is, uh, when the people want to extend, they, they need to realize they're going to, have to change their address. That means your credit card, your deed to your property, 
your insurance, everything's got to be changed. If it takes it to any house. What would you have to do that for, John? Because Horton Spur, ain't that the extension that uh, the other road comes into it at? It's a dead end road. It's a dead end? Yeah, it's just length and extended it. We just extended it. Okay. I thought it was going to be the other part. That, 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 that's yeah. your deal. Okay. Hey, I'll take care of it. I am fixed up. Uh, I think a dead Barbie is the last residence. A dead end's kind of there at her house. Mm -hmm. You get the motion in it. But okay. you was adding on the front side. You have to see where yeah, it's at. Yeah, distance saying. and everything. Yeah. Because you've already got your existing numbers. Yeah, that's just right. the extension of the road. He thought, he thought he was did. adding on the, the front side. <coughs> on the side. I told you like that, that road is extended. Um, we met, I'm very excited about this. We met with the... Uh, the other judges and and uh, Larry and uh, Rip uh, and, and Justin and they come up with a with feasibility study that she's making y'all copies of you can have take with you and uh, it's it's not cheap or anything like that but if you go it out on the full uh, years it's not a whole lot more than we're paying now but to upkeep a jail but here's the deal we're going to go. Uh, we're going to the federal government and the state government to try to get some of the money. Then they'll even make it more, please. Uh, it's only going to, did you give me figures? Uh, oh, you mean on the jail? Uh -huh. Well, on a 300 bed jail, I think it was uh, 24 million. And on a 350 bed jail, it was 27 million. Does that yes. sound about that, right? No, that's right. I've got it right here in front of me. Oh, okay. Uh, but. Uh, we've got to get, to get together now a regional authority. Uh, Justin, you were going to look into that. Mm -hmm. what, uh, I've what not heard from them uh, that they did the feasibility study. I've not heard anything further from them. Is this three uh, yes. yeah. uh, yeah. uh, yes. uh, uh, yeah. yes. Some of those uh, That's what other documents, and then we can move, but I haven't heard from them yet. Yes, we were. What did we meet last week? Was it Thursday? Thursday. I do know that we run into a, a little bit of problem. I, don't, I guess I'm willing to say about what the budget, but uh, some of the magistrates in Butler County, uh, which is not a big problem for any of us, it can be put in Ohio County, but they didn't they didn't want it in Butler County. But it's over at what camp is that, David? Uh, the boys camp. Boys camp. Three River. Yeah. And uh, so, but I, I don't think that problem, that's just a minor, Agreement. I need problems. So. Our agreement was within two miles of the county line, either direction along 231, near the intersection of uh, that. Either way, for quick and And I think most of the managers would care, but some did. Yeah. yeah. One or two just, mentioned that. Just curious, why would they not want it in Butler County? Politics, probably. Yeah. Well, nobody wants a jail, but now they've got the boys' camp. Yeah, yeah. get it. It's in Ohio County. Uh, yeah, we fine with it. Yeah, we're fine. And that's that's. Uh, that's sparsely populated out in that particular area, anyway. Yeah, yeah. So I don't yeah. think we're a very big problem even for yeah, us. Uh, okay. and there's some the undeveloped lives in the county. Yeah. Right. But thanks to the thanks to the judges and David and Justin, mm -hmm. it's it's moving along. It's certainly going to be a slow slow process. And after we get this regional authority figured out, then the uh, guy that's done the big village study has got to apply to the state, and the state's got to put their stamp of approval on. And then we move along with the public. I would like to take my hat off to Brian. You know, the guy done the feasibility study and done this uh, chart that you guys have seen. But I'm very impressed with him. He's up front and straight. And, and the, figures put, he, the figures he put together, uh, I think, was right on target. Of course, you know how everything goes up in place the way it is. Uh, well, and he also, didn't you say this is the one that he wasn't actually a, a contractor to build it? He's right. just. Right. Solely third party yeah. on looking at well, the question, line. and I asked him the question yeah. too, uh, Joe, about would he help us out on? Uh, of course, there'll be several architectural firms that want to be it on the water, right. it, but uh, he said a little bit of background experience on that, and I like to take advantage of that. Experience. Well, yeah, so, yeah, because he knows when. You know, he said he would. So maybe when you're being fed a line, yeah, you know, because he's been in the business. But I think that he said Grayson County had about five five architectural mm -hmm. firms that, that bid on it or whatever and, and the court up there they, they finally narrowed it down to one particular one. So right. we may be
maybe later on some discussion why they chose them or the rest of them or whatever. We want to build a jail, but it don't have to be a penthouse suite. You know? Right. So, right. So, okay. And, and uh, like I said, this, this will be one of, I'm just excited. It really looks like it's doable. <laughs> and, and when we start talking about it, like a dream, that would, uh, with dreaming it could happen, but now it's looking more like it can all the time. I made the comment, I've been on the court 32 years, my first one on the court, we talked about building a jail, and it was a 300 bed jail, was two, two million dollars. <laughs> Should have built it. And it's in the Yeah. And now it's uh, what? 25. Uh, and this is even going to be, hopefully, with a good facility, uh, this reintegration program that we're wanting to do, it's going to be a lot easier with the, you know, that uh, new facility to work with. Uh, and uh, we'll be talking about that a lot more as we go on. Next meeting probably will have some updates on it's something more to talk about on that. Uh, I think we're down to committee reports. Of course, that was the big one I'm going to get to. But is there any other committees to report? Of course, Road Committee did meet and we, that was talking about this question. Our mental health uh, suicide awareness committee met uh, this week, and just to let everybody know, we are planning our second. We have a walk last year. It had a great crowd for the walk at the park. It's going to be September 11th this year, and uh, it starts at 9 o'clock. That's what time is it? 12 o'clock? 9 to 11 or 12. It's 9 time. to 11 or 12. Yeah. Somewhere around there, but the walk starts at around 9 o'clock a.m., and we had a big crowd. We hope to see a lot of people out again. But it's uh, it's our mental health the suicide awareness walk. and. Uh, had a big crowd last year, and we hope to have a big crowd again this year, September 11th at 9 o'clock. Uh, this thing gets more and more important all the time. There have been a lot of suicides around us uh, in our county and neighboring counties in recent times, and uh, some is struck close to some of our homes. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a bad thing. And the mental health, including the suicide part and the drug dependency and all those things mental health is ever bit as the bigger health threat to us as COVID is. Well I think drugs cause the problem in yeah. problems with mental health. Well yeah I, I was included as a part of it. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's very sad. Yes it is. Is there any other committees to report? If there are none let's go to the judge I got one. Yeah okay. It's the Rochester Dam yeah. Committee. Yeah. Uh, this is for all of y'all who's been on here for a long time. September the 29th is the day that they're going to be done on the river. And 30 days after that, they're supposed to be done down there with everything. So by the end of October, we're going to have a new dam at Rochester Dam. We've been doing this for how long, Judge? Uh, I uh, signed that into effect in 2011, my first year in office. So, 10 years, 11 years almost working on it, but so it's finally going to look like it's going to be done this year by the end of October. But they've talked about at least the 10 years before that. And I highly, and we're working with them. We're going to have a boat ramp at the lower end of the dam after they're done. They're down there doing the dirt work for us now, so we'll have a, a ramp at the lower end too for us. That'd be so really, that'd be really uh, good on safety. Big time. It's the only one we got is in Rockport, and it's 45 minute drive up by boat. So, uh, yeah. So I would like at some time, maybe when we're done, if a physical court, after physical court, we load up in a van, we all ride down there to see it, it'd be something to see. Sounds good. Yeah, uh, I, would, I would very much love to do that. Uh, I got one other thing, the committee report on. Okay. That's okay. Uh, today at 3.30, I got the emails. I think that man right there is fixing to be happy, finally. Uh, I got the email that we got awarded our hazard mitigation grant to do his project on Street Road, $375,000. We also got awarded the two weather sirens the judge been asking for. One's going to be at the Ohio County Park. The other one's going to be at the Ritatsu in that area, $55,000. Uh, Nick just don't know what's yet, but he's going to help with some in-kind match of $7,000. That's all we're going to have to do, some in-kind matching. So I got the letter, official letters today on them. Right. So we'll be starting the paperwork on that. 
to get these things rolling by the end of the year. So I know it's been a long road. Did y'all have any luck? Have you looked at that down there in Center Town, the log jam by the road? We have not looked. Uh, me and Nick need to run down there and look at it. Did you have any luck with FEMA talking to them about it? No. We run in, actually run into a, a problem on Dundee Narrows Road, but I think we got it worked out. Because okay. during 2018 flooding, we had a project up there, and it's just some cross-references and stuff. But I think I got all that worked if, out. If we end up, which only thing it would take us to do that down there to clean up part of that would be just to keep the lung reach a little longer. And the way the FEMA is working right now, September the 2nd is the end of the FEMA rental for the long reach unless we can justify it to stay another month at Dundee Narrows. So I think me and Nick has talked about we're in there one more month of traveling up and down Rough River down there at the center town area because it's pretty close to getting it done. The problem is nothing like what he's got. He's got erosion of uh, what is it, about a half an acre or an acre or something like that and that's going to get awarded to repair all that stuff up and down through there. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, I, have to do. Okay. I got with my role. We got to take care of our, these funds here. Are we just going to just list the ARPA? Are we going to uh, vote on it? Or is it just well, we did. We, we will when we award the feds on that. It, it will take a while. I spent some of the money on it today with the trucks, the back, we're looking at the backhoe. Yeah, and, when we do it, we, yes. We, but we'll do them as we got Okay. Uh, No. Mm -hmm. Joe. No, thank you, though. Hey, Larry, you're all right. No, thank you, Judge. Anybody in the dip public got anything to add? Yeah, I think, I think David wants to speak on one of the other things. Yeah. Um, we're currently in the process of purchasing a new fire truck down there at Big Bam. Um, the way our ISO ratings work, we have to maintain three engines. Um, our one engine is down currently, and every time we get repaired, it continues to go down. So we're in the process of ordering a new truck. Where we're at is we're coming to the county to ask for some assistance in purchasing that truck. Um, it would be a 2022 Freightliner. It's a 1,500 gallon per minute. We did up our pump size capacity from a 1250 to 1500 to help with industries. And we've got a lot with Virtatsu and Dysel and you know you got Nestaway and all them other industries in the area. So we was looking at upping that. So we would like to ask that the court would assist with the purchase of that fire truck. Yeah, actually we have talked about that and it is on the list that you got there. Um, um, and uh, I don't, I think all of you were aware that we were talking about that. I so think the main thing that would help is what they're looking at is the, is our industrial park out there to maintain the better ISO range for the industrial park. You have to have this there. Yeah. The city is $385,000 purchase, and they're, they're taking care of most of it. They just asked for our part of the contract. That was on the original uh, projects that y'all looked at the other day, and it's on this list that we're talking about. Trying to go down and look at one at a time. So, if you would want to make a motion on that, we can consider going ahead with that one. That Hartford will be in on a similar one, but less money. Now, this is, is this being paid for? And we, yeah. we checked into that. There's no way that that'll go under community. So I just can't wrap my head around how uh, Well, a community project has to be related to COVID. And it's, uh, it's just Or a park. It to COVID. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, if I make a motion, could I say that we'll take it out of the credit unless she checks and otherwise she can take it out of the other way? Which I know she's already checked. I mean, I've uh, already checked. Uh, Hey, the they could change something. I'm not okay. saying that. Well, can I just say it come out of one way or the other, whatever yeah. we decide? Yeah. And I will, you know, yeah. pay attention to see. Uh, I, I, I feel like that it could come out. I think it could too. But let's just say I'm not the expert. I'm not. Expert. I'm not. <laughs> now, when we do this, guys, are we looking at helping other fire departments within the county? As well? one, one more. Uh, they, these two we've never helped. Uh, and the uh, the community fire departments, we will. One of them submitted stuff, but they were it wasn't qualified. We are looking to make a contribution to all to the ARPA funds. 
Is that yeah. maybe this amount, but we are looking to the each each department. Yeah, I'd like to know that. What the, I'd like to know those figures before I vote on this do we, tonight. Do we know, uh, did the city get any ARPA funds? Yes. Yes. And they're using some of theirs. This truck's a whole lot of money. They're using yeah. some of theirs too. They're looking at, they'll be spending roughly 330, 335,000 towards this truck out of their money. Right. And, and we're going to put 50 of them. The total amount of money that's going to be allocated, as Jason said, to the different fire departments within the county, uh, what's the total amount we're looking at? We haven't really. Did yeah, we have I don't think that's really yet? been discussed. It, it's on, the, some of them's on that list. Though. Yeah, but it's, it, not all of them. This is just yeah. the Beaver Down thing. Well, that, the, that's what I'm asking. Record. That's the reason I'm asking. I don't yeah. want to get the car before. No, we, I mean, yeah. we still got so much more. Yeah, we, we do, and uh, well, probably um, I'll ask for 15. Yeah, but, some stuff. but but the, we also they're going to redo the request because it wasn't for the right thing. How much funds is it? It's got to be something like this or something. Well, that's the reason I say that. Do you have that in my no, It was, I have it in my file in there. Um, I don't quote, you know, I'm. It was around 800. Seems like it was either 700 something or close to 900. Or and all cities got ARPA money. And all cities got the ARPA, so the big man of Hartford will have with their okay. credit. I know that Fordsville will Park. too. What I'm trying to do to understand is uh, how we're giving away $85,000 here to two departments. And I'm concerned about the other seven that we have in the county. I want to know what kind of money is available, going to be available for them as well. Because I've got to answer from Fordville and Dunwoody or Mac Henry or whatever. Uh, well, like Cromwell and Rockport, we've given money for a truck. And what else? Hartford as well. Hartford, we gave money for a truck. Last and, year with the tanker. Yeah. Uh, Cromwell, two, th and two, 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 two trucks, amounts for a truck. Two yeah. trucks to Cromwell. Yeah. So. But still, I still <laughs> think the question is what, what? I'd like to know how much money. Uh, we'd have a really set a figure that I know of, have we? No. No. Well, you say where, where are you at on this, uh, got a whole this truck? Is it holding you up? You want to go ahead? They've gotten ready to order it, but we're still kind of waiting for the final payment on it to be able to order and start building again. So you got you got paid all this truck? What they do, they do a prepay. If we don't prepay, we're looking at another sixty thousand dollars that we would have to pay on top of it. And the reason they do that is they've had places fire departments order a truck and then not be able to come up with the funds, or the city's not actually approve it. Right. Then they're stuck with the truck that they built, and they have to sell it at this kind of price. So. But if they really need that, we know these are. I like the really need yeah. this kind of I guess what I'm asking though, too, is yeah. what does it encompass? Does it encompass his trucks or is it other equipment? Other equipment. That, other equipment yeah, be equipment. Be used to whatever. Because I need to, if this money's available, and uh, the departments in the fourth district have an opportunity to uh, to purchase or or upgrade. Or whatever the case may be. It's not just trucks, it could be used, yeah, for. And I just want to make sure there's money there available. Yeah. They just ask for the truck. Yeah. That's the reason. If you're, if you're taking it out of the revenue replacement part, okay. it could be whatever you want it to be. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be. But, we're, we're trying to but you think it's a substantial amount of money in there to take care of the other departments within the county? I think right now, well, yeah, there's enough money. Right now, the only thing that would be allowed is communications, yeah. radios. Everything else would have to come out of revenue replacement, which but, there's there's ample money in there. But, uh, too. And the thing on Hartford, too, we're talking about turning a little bit. It, it's for two different districts. I mean, it's for county things. Yeah, I know they have one. Yeah, yeah, this this truck here, actually, with our fire calls, we actually cover more county on fire calls yeah. than the city. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, okay with Hartford, but Hartford's got money for a truck before, you know, I don't think I've ever asked for a truck. No, no, I agree. Yeah. I, I think it'd be in, in order for you to make that money. And the reason we're doing it more so is because it, it affects the industrial park out there. They, yeah. they cover the industrial park. And that was kind of why we upgraded the park. Yeah, so that the ISO ratings, it, it affects them, and that affects the businesses that come what in. What about the old truck? So what, no. what's the story on it? Right now it's down. Um, we've had Texas. Motor or what is it? Well, when they originally bought the truck, they attempted to buy it. This was before my time, but they attempted to buy the truck and it sold before they could get it. A year went by, the truck come up for sale again, and they decided to buy it. Um, since we have had it, 
long have you had it from? Five years? Five we bought years. it right before the station was built, and it's down more than it's up. Um, we had it out in that Henry on a structure about a month ago. No, about two weeks ago. About two weeks ago. We used it there, down again. Broke down. Every time we use the truck, it's down, and what, it's what, completely on the it engine or It's something, it has a motherboard that's the size of y'all's desk in it. And it's something in there that just keeps shorting out. Every time they fix it, something else is shorting. What brand is it? It is a Pierce custom truck. Pierce. Um, Wait, what year model was it? 90, I want to say it's a 93 or 95. Is it got the Detroit motor, I think? Yes. Is, yeah. Yes. Those, those leaks today, they're nice. <laughs> Detroit. <laughs> yeah. And the good thing about it, the city's only asking for 50% of purchase. From us, yes, and and I'm they're I'm, taking care of the rest of it. I like to do it. Fifteen percent. Fifteen percent. Yeah, that's not fifteen percent. We're covering our. They're covering our industrial part. or um, community projects, depending on how Ann can work it out, uh, that we do a $50,000 contribution to the city of Beaverdown to purchase a uh, fire truck contribution. And the right to check, right? And the right to check. So here's a second. I'll second. Second to Larry King. Further discussion? B9, roll call Ann. Sam Small. Yes. <coughs> Jason Bullock. Yes. Joe Barnes. Yes. Larry Cam. Yes. Judge. Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I do have one question, though. Okay. You know, we got this. Okay. This was brought to us for the ARCA funds. How, how do we get on? You know, if we got a project for our own, right. who do we need bring to talk to? Bring you to me or Ann or either one of them. Yeah. I do have one. One more thing. I'm going to change hats from Fire Chief to President Association. Um, when I took over President Association, I kind of got all the fire departments together and we discussed some things that we was wanting to look at getting done down throughout the year and trying to upgrade and fix things that need to be fixed and get the association back to a better standing than what it was. Um, I've spoken to all the fire departments. We've been in really good contact. And one of the things, and I think, I think the court had actually talked to a lot of fire chiefs as well, one of the things we talked about was the training tower, the condition that the training tower was in. And I know I had submitted a or a quote for that in the needs assessment. I was just kind of curious where we were at. I haven't heard an update. It was proved in needs assessment, wasn't it, Ann? No, it's on. I, remember, uh, I remember talking about it. No, we put it on the ARCA list. Okay. It would come from needs assessment over to this. Uh -huh. list. What, what were we talking about? How much is that? I know we talked about it, this in the past, I believe, didn't we? Well, unfortunately, in the past, when the first quote come in, it was like $6,000, and that was like six, seven years ago. Right. And I don't know why it never got pushed. I think that was on 
it was, the association it was approved, signed. The court approved it. Yeah. Yeah. And it never went through, never That's got fixed. That's what I thought. I thought we had someone who was going to fix they, it all. They never did. They never did follow through on their side of it. We never did pay that out. No. Correct answer? The quote that I received, and that's been about a month or two ago, was 13.8. And that was from Beaver Dam Building Supply. How much was it? 13.8. Um, and we're not against, if the court decided to open bid, take bids forward and figure out maybe someone has a better price on doing it, things like that, we're good with that as well. But I was just trying to see an update about right. where we're at, if we were still well, on the needs assessment. or With inflation and then also with it sitting there weathering and having more damage, I'd say. That's probably see that the the, that's the biggest thing is most y'all know paint is more of a protective than it is beautified right. and yeah, that building has been painted in years and it's weather damaged horrifically because they told us then that we you know that was one of the biggest things yeah. that it would, it would help us in maintenance on down the road you know there's a paint shortage <laughs> <laughs> the, the quote was for repairing the block repairing any wood structure on the inside and fully painting the building to help protect for future weather is what the quote was was for Give me the amount again. Thirteen eight was a quote I received. Yeah. That, yeah. And then we had it on the needs assessment. Okay. Assessment list, and it was moved over to the. Okay. I just wanted an update. I haven't heard nothing on it. I'm just kind of curious. Go ahead and move on that. That's the wrong. That was the word. Say that again, again. That was paint and what? It was to repair the blocks. Some of the right. blocks are busted away. It was yeah. to repair the blocks. Is it on our list? Yeah. Any wood structure that may have been damaged and to yes. repaint the building. It's okay. on the big okay. list. Can we have a task for bids? Maybe get a little more people interested in it. And we may get the same deal we got last time. But uh, maybe we can advertise for bids on it. Dave can tell them what they want. To make up the specs for what you're looking at. And like I said, we're going to be adding things to this list. I'll make a, I'll make a motion and we go ahead and advertise for bids on it. The fire tire with uh, them contacting David on the, what needs to be also repaired to. Have a motion. Yeah, we move, we move you on. got his name. Thank you. Uh, David, okay. if, you, if you don't care next time you Great guys have a meeting, would you pass on to your fellow, just, uh, fellow firefighters and districts and fire departments, uh, let them know what we're looking at here, that there's a possibility of some ample monies uh, that's yes, going to be made and what they're needs are that they meet and let them Second. get together with the judge Second. or myself or whatever and I can pass that on and bring it here. There you go. Okay. I will do. I would appreciate I'll it. take care of it for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Uh, motion second. Any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed uh, like sign. Uh, Charlie Shields, will you see that that ad is running? I'll take care of it. Get the specs on and all that. How tall is that uh, train that's in the building? Oh, no, we talked about it. Four and a half stories. Four and a half stories. So it's about 40, 45 feet. Yeah. Yeah. 50 feet, yeah. feet can probably end it. Um, how tall the floors are? Oh, bucket truck don't blow up to 40 feet. I just painted it. Uh, 38 foot. I know where he's going, though. I ain't painting it. <laughs> <laughs> Turn, in spare, Turn in your spare time. Yeah. <laughs> we need to get him out of the bucket truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he needs to do something like that. Uh, is there any other business coming for this spot? Uh, Randy, yeah, I'd like to just say a couple words. I appreciate the information that Charlie gave. That uh, Charlie just gave me. I have been hearing this for two weeks, but uh, finally caught up with Charlie last week. So I hope it's all true. It, uh, it it does need to go by October if it could, but if it can, it can't. You know, they're they're gonna get done that quick. What's that? They're gonna get done that quick. Well, what's what's the holdup? I mean, what's FEMA? FEMA? Yeah. Okay. Well, I thought they gave. I thought they gave her okay. They did, but they didn't release the money. Oh, okay. Got okay. Well, whatever. I'll settle for anything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just talked to the judge. Yeah. Uh, Charlie Shields. Yeah. 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 I said, you know, this is the last place I went. Maybe it should have been the first place I went. Since 300 truckloads of dirt went down my, my dirt went down, the, went down the Rough River. We had a good conversation. I uh, told them all about uh, everything we tried and everything and how we failed and everything. And uh, I kind of uh, got from Luttrell that uh, the county was kind of wanting them to be the head of the uh, entire river cleanup thing, and he told he told me that 
some shape or form. There was a legal problem with that or whatever, but I still, uh, I hope we do something on that because that's what needs to be done. My problem is one little speck in that river. And uh, anything I can do to uh, help with that, I mean, it, it needs to be done. It needs to be done. Yeah, man, yeah, it's yeah. going to take a big effort by a lot of people. So yeah. thank, thank the court for everything they've done for me. Yeah, we're going to keep, uh, keep on keeping on it. I know it seems like forever, and the uh, government always moves a little bit slow, but in this case, it's slower than it's normal. But we are going to get it done. So uh, with that good news we got from Charlie there. Yes, you need to say anything else? That means you'll have for him. You have something No, no. I've talked to Justice. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, this means adjourned. Uh, see y'all. Uh, go to Broward Games. Next oh, yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be over in County.